Welcome to a brief tutorial on using an iPhone to connect to a host computer using GoToMyPC. If you have not already installed the GoToMyPC app for your iPhone, go to the App Store, type in GoToMyPC, and download the app. When this is complete, you will see an icon listed on your phone. On your iPhone, click on the GoToMyPC app to open it. This will take you to the sign-in page. Here, enter your email address and password. Once you've entered this information, click on Sign In. Here you will see the options for your account. These include My Computers and Settings. Click on My Computers to see what computers you have set up. In this scenario, I just have one host computer set up. For this tutorial, I would like to connect to the computer called Little Office Computer. I can tell that this computer is online and ready to be connected to since it has a green dot to the right of the name. It also tells me how long it's been online for. Click on the name of the computer you'd like to connect to. The connection will begin and you will be prompted to enter the computer's access code. Enter the access code and click Go. Here you will see some instructions on how to use the mobile application. You have the option to close this window. You can also uncheck the box to the bottom so you'll not see these instructions every time you connect. You will then see your host computer on your iPhone. If the screen is too small to read, you can pinch to zoom on your device screen to get a closer view. To clarify, Pinch your fingers together as if you were grabbing a pinch of salt. Place them on the center of the screen and spread your fingers slowly apart. As you spread your fingers, the page will expand and you will see only a portion of the page, though in a larger size. If you would like more information on using mobile device touchscreens, please look up multi-touch instructions or mobile device gestures online. Per the instructions on the iPhone, you can move your mouse around to click in fields or click on items. To type, you can click on the arrow at the top of the screen to show your tool options. Expand this and click on the keyboard to type. Now that I'm connected to my host computer, I can do anything I'd be able to do as if I were sitting directly in front of that computer. If you open a document, like this Word document for example, and make edits to the file, any saved changes will be saved on your host computer. Mobile voice inputs built into iPhones and Android phones work through the GoToMyPC application. When you are working in a document and open up the keyboard to type, you will see an icon for a microphone on your phone's keyboard. By clicking on this icon, you will be able to speak into your phone and have your spoken words appear as text in the document you are working on. When you're finished with your session, click on the down arrow at the top of the screen again and click the X on the left to end the session. You'll be asked to confirm that you want to disconnect from your computer. Here you will click Yes and you'll be disconnected and returned to your My Computers page. To log out of your account, click on the Settings option at left and click on Sign Out. If you don't opt to sign out, but instead you just hit your iOS home button and leave the app, you can multitask in another app and go back to go to my PC without logging in again for up to five minutes of inactivity. After five minutes of inactivity, you will be logged out automatically and will then have to sign back into your host computer to start a new session. Thank you for viewing this tutorial on using an iPhone to connect to a go to my PC host computer. You can view this video and many others at our product support site at support.citrixonline.com.